Hello everybody, Strategic Sage here welcoming you back to Factorio Demystified. This session is going to focus on the last two key components for the mid-game. Processing units here, and we'll also be looking at low density structures. And they're both built fairly similarly and have very similar applications. Both products are needed for late game science, for the rocket at the very end. They both are needed for the best of the combat equipment and upgrades that we're going to want for the mid-game period. And they also both are the end of the line for one oil-based product that we're already producing. In this case, sulfuric acid will be going no further than where we are. I have eight of these set up. That's going to give me, once we upgrade to the fastest assembler, if we had no modules in it, that will get us to one per second. And I'm basically basing this on, okay, let's have half of our production go to science and then have another amount on top of that that we can just use for whatever we need. Then we can scale up later as we might desire. So we have 20 electronic circuits, two advanced circuits, and five sulfuric acid required, 10 second crafting time. And I am using productivity modules here. That's actually slightly worse than using efficiency modules if you take into account the pollution of the whole production chain, but only about 10% worse. And then we're of course going to be getting some free product and not have to consume quite as many electronic circuits this way, but you can go either direction. Now, my ratio of inputs here is not perfect. You'd have to do some pretty crazy shenanigans to get to that, but it's close enough. We've got two and a half belts here of the electronic circuits for each side, and then we've got half of a belt for the advanced circuits. So that's five to one, not the 10 to one called for in the recipe, but it's more than sufficient. And we're gonna need to maybe put more belts in here or perhaps upgrade the belts later on, but this is just a starting model for us to work from. I'm also going to be taking the processing units in both directions, so they need to go on the bus, at least unless we want to move where we produce our modules, because for the second tier and the third tier modules, these processing units are going to be required, and that's the one additional value that these have over the low density structures. Here's our module production underway in the supply depot. Of course, we have our processing units running in, and it's very much an open question whether it's worth running these processing units all the way down here for these modules because the second tier modules are a lot more expensive than the first tier, but you don't get nearly as much return on your investment. For example, productivity module here, and the price for each of the types of modules is the same. Four of the previous tier, plus five processing units, plus five advanced circuits. So several times the cost but it's definitely not several times the return. Productivity is only up 6% compared to 4% for the first tier. And the other stats are adjusted some as well, but that's the general idea there. If you're going to use productivity modules somewhere, you probably want to go up to the second tier, but just be aware of that significantly increased cost. On the efficiency modules, we are now up to 40% energy consumption drop compared to 30% for the first tier. And again, you can see the cost for building them scales the same. But for example, take refineries or take our mining drills. Well, three of those tier one efficiency modules already gets them down to that minimum 20% consumption. So going with a second tier is really just a waste of resources in my opinion. I don't really wanna throw the second tier efficiency modules in my assembly machines because we're going to be moving up to the third tier that can allow for four modules. So really the only good application that I know of in terms of my judgment for the second tier efficiency modules is in the pump jacks. And they're gonna pay for themselves in about an hour pollution wise. But if we put the second tier efficiency modules in our electric furnaces, well, their pollution is already low enough to get that return on that investment would take at least 10 hours, probably a little bit more. And that's of constant operation. And are we even going to be still building this factory in 10 hours? So I just, I don't think you're really going to see a lot of positive return on your investment going in that direction. I'm just going to throw out just in the pump jacks this tier two and the few places where I'm already using productivity modules, definitely research labs. Always want to hit that. Very much worth the investment there. I'm going to be putting them in the sulfuric acid, putting them in my nuclear setup in the centrifuges there. And I'm gonna put them in the processing units too, although you could definitely argue that that's gonna be bad enough on the pollution side that's really not worth it. 
And here's our second new production line that we're adding the low density structures. You can see immediately, it looks very similar to the processing units. Got the two belts coming in on each side, outgoing and ingoing in the middle here. And these require twice as much crafting time, 20 seconds compared to the 10 for the processing units, which is why I have twice as many assemblers working on it. Also going with the efficiency modules here because it's nowhere near as close to a call as it is on the processing units. So we're just going to save the pollution and the energy and go in that direction. 20 copper plates, two steel plates, and five plastic bars. So the copper, two full belts here to one half belt of plastic here in the middle, that's the four to one ratio. That's exactly what the recipe calls for. And then also the steel taking the other line. These don't need to go back down to the depot. They're not used for modules or anything else I'm going to need there. So I'm just gonna bring these out to the bus. And the way I want to do this is, this is the end of the line for plastic, much as it was for sulfuric acid on the processing units. So I am simply going to replace the plastic line here. Low density structures. You're going up to the north, and that basically finishes our setup here. And now we're ready to move forward with trying to figure out, okay, we need to scale up. I mean, it's very obvious with both the processing units, but also here, the copper is dwindling down. We simply do not have enough resources coming in to keep up with the demand at this point. So how do we resolve shortages in our factory? That'll be coming up next time when Victoria Demystified returns. Thanks for watching.